welcome to my channel. I'm Milou and I'm here with a special video for you today. Today I am doing a collaboration with Charlene van der Voorst. She is Dutch as me, as well as me, and we wanted to make a journal page with Autumn and I will leave her link down below so check her out. She makes awesome pages. Um, she does a lot in Dutch but she also has some international videos and even if they are in Dutch you can still see what she creates and like I said she she's amazing <laughs> so check her out today in the video I wanted to draw a fox and I used the example of this L'Enfant stamp I showed you but it was too tiny so I decided to to draw my own and I give it a little bit more of my own by drawing a scarf as well because the page is about autumn about fall so what's better than a scarf <laughs> yeah um, I'm using a new insert today and I love working in it it's the 03 Traveler's Notebook by Traveler's Company and I love the paper. It's so smooth and it works perfect with watercolors and I use gelatos on these and I use a technique I also tried in my previous insert but whoa it's amazing the difference between those two I really love this one so yeah I drew the fox here, sorry back to the video, <laughs> I drew the fox and I am now going to play with my gelatos and I chose three colors, the first one is gold champagne, the second one is mango and the third one I'm using here is metallic melon. Two out of three have are metallic so they have a little bit of sparkle in there. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but you can definitely see it in real life and I love the touch of sparkle. I just sprayed it with some water and then I used my brush to mix the gelato, the wax, wax kind of thing with the water and then I dipped my journal in there. You cannot see it really well right now. I uh, dried the first layer and now I'm making a second layer on on um, the pieces that didn't have much color on it yet and here it is you can see still see my drawing that's excellent I was a little bit afraid I wouldn't be I wouldn't see it anymore but you can still see it so I will go over that in a minute but outside I went for a walk and I when I wanted to create this page, when Charlene and I were talking about the collaboration, we were like, okay, let's do a an, uh, fall, an autumn page. And uh, the first thing that popped into my mind was, okay, I want to use a leaf, a real fall leaf. And I went for on the hunt for a uh, leaf and I found this one. And it's so beautiful. It's see-through because it's almost um, well nature played with it so you there are holes in there and you only see the nerves is it nerves in English you can only see so I loved this uh, leaf and I fused it I used my fuse and a plastic um, sheet to contain it and I will put it as a insert in my um, in my journal here you can see where I want it to go but first I grab my watercolors and I am going to color in my fox and I use my Prima marketing watercolors the first one is uh, pastel dreams and the second one is tropical and I use the orange from the tropical one and I use the um, brown color from the uh, pastel dream set I, I mix those two to make a darker kind of orange and but first I will go in with the normal orange and I put down a layer then dry it in between and then I will go back to a, add some shading and some darker spots so you'll see me do that right now 
Uh, as you can see, I first used the gelatos and then on top of that, I used my watercolors and it works perfectly. Um, watercolors are a bit see-through, so that means you can still see uh, the texture of the gelatos, but I don't, didn't mind and still my fox is vibrant enough to stand out of the page and I, I really love it. So yeah, it works perfect on this paper. It didn't bleed through at all and I used a lot of water, so I'm in love. <laughs> yeah, I really, really like it. Here you see me play a little bit already with some darkness, some shading, and I know I ha still have a lot to learn about shading, but I try and do my best. I try and look, okay, where does the shadow go? Which part is uh, back from the other one and has sh shading. Um, but yeah, I, I like I said, I need a lot to learn about that. Here I'm coloring the scarf and as same as the body, I will first put one layer down and then when it's dry, I go back in with a darker shade to create some shadows. So yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you else. Just watch a little bit. Um, but, oh yeah, back to the collaboration. Like I said, Charlene has also a YouTube channel and she's amazing. She uh, asked me if I wanted to do a collaboration and I was, yes, of course. Um, she kind of is my example. And yeah, she is so much better than I am. At least that's what I think. And uh, yeah, so I would say just check her out. And like I said, she has international videos. She also has Dutch ones. And I think her collab video is just in Dutch. But you can still watch and see what she creates. She, has, she does amazing things. So yeah. I will link her video uh, in the description box below. And I will link it at the end on the top. In the video you can click on it and then you can go to her channel um, with my fox I used my paint over pen or not my paint over pen I'm sorry I've watched a lot of Jane Davenport lately <laughs> I used my paint marker to uh, make the uh, pieces that are right extra right because of course I have my background already and color so I wanted to make those parts stand out a little bit more I also uh, made the nose black and I give, gave it a little tiny spot to make a little bit of dimension and here I use my washi tape to insert my leaf and I'm using this paper by the warm and cozy collection by Jen Hatfield to map my picture and I just needed a little border. And with this picture, I used the back of the paper because I wanted to. I didn't want a mat around my page, <laughs> around my picture. But I wanted uh, if I flipped it because I am using it as as a tip in as well. When I flipped it, I didn't want to see the back of the picture. So yeah, that's why I did that. I used my washi. And the back, like here you can see, you see the, the pattern paper instead of the back of the picture. And yeah, so I in made an insert like that and an insert with the leaf. And like you saw me chop down the other picture because it was too big for in my journal. And here I'm drawing some little leaves because I wanted to create more other things in this layout and because the pictures have a lot of leaves I thought it was kind of cute to make them fall around the uh, the fox. I also made some leaves on the top where I want my date to go and here I grab my watercolors again and color in the leaves. I use green and red but I first do the green and then come back in with the red. So yeah, and I know they don't look like, le like leaves yet, but wait, I go back in with my black pen, my black 
pen and then I will um, outline it just like here I do with my fox and it gives so much more body I really really love it and tomorrow my well actually today if you watch this I get a new package and I get my incredible pen by Jane Davenport and I can't wait to play with it I'm very curious because it's supposed to be uh, good for sketching so yeah wait and see here I draw the eyes Eyes, <laughs> sounds like eyes, no, eyes. Um, and I make some some scarf and then I am almost done with this part. Here you can see my leaves get a little bit more body. And yeah, that's that. Then I go back in with my washi tape. There are also leaves on the washi tape. And I use this stamp by my local scrapbook store, Scrappy Light. And I stamp Sunday, because this page is about Sunday. And I go in with my watercolor, the same orange as I used uh, with coloring the fox, to color in the Sunday. Here you see me. And then I dry it before I cut it out. I cut that out for you. <laughs> so yeah, and then I'm just gluing it, sticking, plonking it in my journal. Then I have a, oh, first these washi, and I have a washi with two kinds of um, brown and one type of aqua in it, and I just stir it like I, um, so I only have the brown to make a little more detail in my pitch and here that's what I wanted to say before I grab my label maker and I make the date I make a label with autumn and I make a label with leaves but first I'm gonna look through my embellishments to find a die cut um, what's it called tab and I stand, I cut it out myself well with my big shot uh, earlier and I used the um, die cuts by the diamond press they have this cute label and then I put my autumn on top of it my date goes over there and then I make the other one and put it on my picture and then my page is already finished so yeah I hope you check out Charlene's um, video as well, her channel, and please let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed it as, mu as much as I did, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!